Hello and welcome to episode 58 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orion. I'm going to address something that I haven't done all series and I probably should have done because I aced all the training. Every single drill got an A and yet I didn't manage interruptions to ignore training days. Every single episode, every single training, I went onto that screen and simulated. Don't know why. Well, it ends now with the bypass. Before we get on with 2031 to 2032, we want to have a look at the stats. For the previous season, most appearances, Severin Colombo with 52. Bobby Monk got 40 goals. And there's so many competitions here that it's kind of leaking off the page. But of course, Sabali got the golden boot with 29 goals in the Premier League. Most assists, Amit Panda on 25. So Amit is turning more into a creator clean sheet. Well, it's Tembo up top with 16. There's a lot of players on 16. But that's no real surprise because we didn't really change the side that much. What we'll have in front of us in the group stages with the easier teams is essentially a final chance to watch some of these players and I'll try and get everybody on the pitch. We do expect to qualify for the knockout rounds when it does get to the knockout rounds. I'm fully trusting in the first team to get the job done. I am learning something here with dynamic potential. You don't really need to play these players. You just need to win trophies. If you win trophies the potential goes up no matter how many games they've played. So broken. So broken. Who's decided that that was a thing? The only person that didn't go up is Lucas Thompson. Incredible. Because we don't want a team full of 90 overalls, we've calmed down the dynamic potential. I expect Sosa, Panda, they'll reach it. Maybe Colombo. We're into the financial part of the squad hub. Just trying to get players to agree contract extensions. I might not be here after this season, but it'd be great to secure the futures of these players. Dadashov! Lovely work in the pre-season, but we did draw against Real Madrid, doubling up on my suspicions that they are a very good team. Of course, we have the Super Cup, so we can test out how good Atletico Madrid are. Champions League hasn't been drawn yet. We get past the Community Shield with a 2-1 loss to Everton. Don't be alarmed. It does look like we got plain white kits, but the mod's not been updated to the latest title update. This is our third shirt, but it's not showing our third shirt. So we're in yellow here in the Super Cup. Really forgot about this trophy, in all honesty, but it'll be a good indicator where we are in comparison to the Madrid teams. Atletico Madrid, obviously champions of Europe. Sosa and Panda already got to 90 overall, so congratulations to them. Are we up for lifting more silverware. After some consideration, I think we're going to pass on making another series for FIFA 22 and build up excitement for Youth Squad Legends coming in FIFA 23. What we'll do is expand on the Berry idea and, of course, create a club coming back. Even though there'll be less videos in general and some might take me upwards of like a week to complete, it will give the channel a much needed boost. A kick up the backside. Oh, that looks like a handball. This is Nantanina. Inside, Amit Panda could have dropped it to Sosa. It took way too long to find that Brazilian there. Nantanina goes to Ronnie Forrest. It's slick passing all the way. Really fluid. A back heel by Panda. And Sabali might be in. Nantanina. Glorious play there by Leighton Orient. But it's a solid enough save by Jan Oblak pushing it away for the corner kick. Here comes Colombo! Oh, we've got a European song. Probably should sing it now that we're in real European competition. I don't really class the Europa League as proper European competition. And I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Nine to nine, nine to nine, here we go. Oh, flocking all over the world. Jean-Paul Sabali, up and over. This is Amit Panda. Oh, and that is delicious! To get the chip right from that distance, with the speed on the ball, he's over the advertising boards. He's with the Leighton Orient Ultras in the stands. Everybody's going crackers. Everybody's singing, flocking all over the world. He's near the end of the series, but it seems like we've only just begun. What a goal that is! The delicate chip that is just full of finesse. And Radu Flocker in his elegant clothing range. 
Fist pumps the air in sheer delight. Well, if this is a rehearsal for a Champions League final, I think we are passing the test. <laughs> Come on. Nantanino, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, we've conceded because Nantanino didn't want to collect the ball. That's all that I can say about this. He just stops running. I do not let my finger off the sprint button. And yet Nantanino slows down. Good, we've conceded to that really annoying song. Oh, and that's a heavy touch by Godwin Orji. Oh, is it Despacito? It's Despacito, isn't it? I'm so stupid. Uh, they're onside again. Right, Tembo called into action. I think they've just brought on Jao Felix, so they weren't even at their strongest. I imagine that Jao Felix is now about 92 overall. This has been far, far better from Atletico Madrid. 10 minutes to go. That is Amit Panarov and Bobby Monk on. We're also bringing on Jesse Fraser and Filipos Sampras. Oh, that's Bobby Monk. He caused absolute havoc in the Europa League final. Can it be the same here? Oblak's coming out for that corner kick. That is the end of the 90 minutes, and we've let Atletico Madrid back into it. It's going into extra time. Colombo's not happy. Performance off the pace, I would say. And they had an XG at half time at zero. That now stands at 2.3. All the way out wide there. It's not Bobby Monk, it's Bruno Sosa on the volley, and it's 2 1 Leighton Orient. No! Don't chip me! Oh, you little. Oh, okay. Knew that we needed a bit more energy at centre back. The Scott Cleave substitution. Not quick enough. Damn, Oblak just rushes out for every corner. So we can't really play the ball to Bobby Monk at the front post. We're going to have to move him outwards and see if he can score from there. Or we could try and get a midfielder on the header, knock it down to Bobby Monk maybe, or Jean-Paul Sabali. Scott Cleese might be the right idea for this. We take the kick. Knock it down. Oh, that's perfect. Yes! Oh, that worked an absolute treat. Bobby Monk! Oh, now how about that for some tactical changes? I'm impressed with myself, with Radu Flocker's ingenuity. Tell you what, if these are the finalists for the Champions League, we'll need a better performance. This has been really on-off stuff. We certainly don't want the Champions League final gonna penalties. Oh, Bobby Monk! Oh! <laughs> yeah! gonna chip me again please please tembo please realize that they're gonna chip you esposit has he scored all three goals for them yeah, that's a joke that's full time and 4-3 for the super cup a good showing by both teams but behind the scenes there'll be many questions following that performance we know that we can play a little bit better let's go proctor to lift another piece of silverware why is this shot a thing all the time? Leighton Orion are winners of the UEFA Super Cup. There you go. I'll tell you something whilst we're doing this. Gran Turismo came out, didn't it? So on the floor, I'm just occasionally kicking the pedals. I got the steering wheel here just to the side. As <laughs> soon as I'm finished, I'm going back on it. Will they have drawn the Champions League by now? No. Not willing to sell or buy anyone. This is the team for me. 3-2 victory over Burnley. 1-0 victory over Manchester United. It looks like Blackburn have made the Premier League and we lost to them. Okay, in the group stages of the Champions League, we have Inter Milan, Galatasaray, and Genk. The champions! Do -do 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 -do. There's something in my eye. Ah! Oh, what? Ah! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's bad. Ah. Ah. <laughs> sound like that turtle having sex. <laughs> ah. So we got Kakarang, Chyprasit, and Jacques Chantome going to Inter Milan. Two real good players to make my life a little bit more difficult with the debut in the Champions League for Leighton Orient. It's a proud, proud moment. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to select Courtney Scott anytime soon. So Tembo comes into action with a fantastic one-on-one. -on -one, one on one save. The touches have been absolutely atrocious. Amit Panda 
blasts it into a dangerous area. Oh, it's Ronnie Forrest of the bike posters. We try and do the same tactic that did us so good in the Super Cup. Here comes the hopes of thousands and thousands of people in the stadium watching at home. Bobby Monk, can he do it again? We've got 68 minutes on the clock. Chest control. Oh, not a handball. He's trying to chip it. Oh, what a save. Here comes the corner kick. They looked unconvincing before Bobby Monk came onto the field. So it's no surprise that Monk got the final glancing touch. Let's try and get another corner kick before the night's over. It's a wonderful find there by Romeo Nantanino. Bobby Monk at the back post. Cleared off the line. The goalkeeper's done well to punch. We're recycling well and Zanza. It's Monk. Oh, and the back heel from Nantanina produces a stunning save. This is the corner kick that we wanted. Doesn't even show the highlight. Thanks, guys. And it's aimed towards Bobby Monk again. Drink this in. It's the first Champions League goal for Leighton Orion in a much contested game against Inter Milan and it's Bobby Monk, Robert J Monksworth. Have that! He's possibly the most unplayable figure that I've seen on career mode. Oh, bicycle kick clearance off the line from Manzanza. That should comfortably go into the hands of Tembo. An interesting Final attack there from Inter Milan. Tembo just whacks it upfield. They don't have time to pump it long. And that is 1-0 Leighton Orient. Guess who changed things? That looked like a stalemate. And I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Na 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 Here we go. Flock it all over the world. Onwards to the match against Galatasaray. In the league, we've had two draws. We won in the League Cup against Tottenham Hotspur. Second game in the group stage, Galatasaray against Leighton Orient. Depending on the difficulty of the group stage, this might be the final time that we see some of these players. So my thanks goes out to them. Sam Lewis, great defender. Tang, just unlucky to be in this series. Could have been a number one somewhere else. Dadashov, just thank you for being Dadashov. Oh, boy. Sampras had a great storyline, you know, getting released and then coming back. Tommy Lemon, great character. Never complained about being in the reserves. And then who villains? The Wonder Kid. You love to see it. Tommy Lemon on the volley. Oh, it had a lovely dip to it. But just not the accuracy. Because I want it to happen so much. Let's get the player instructions out. Dadashov join the attack. It's a corner kick, Galatasaray. And the goalkeeper's taking it. Is the game telling me something? If we can get Dadashov into a decent position, this could happen. Tommy Lemon heads it on to Dadashov. Hold on to your seats. I'm going to try and shoot. It's Dadashov. Oh, no. Mate, how am I supposed to explain that this is developed by people? This game is so busted. I got reports from you guys last episode saying that there was a striker at centre-back for Lille. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me. Why is his stamina just immediately gone down? What's all that about? Go on, Dadashov. Oh, it's a standing tackle by the goalkeeper. Keep your eyes on Dadashov's stamina. It goes down when he leaves the front post. Dadashov's got to go. He's got to go. Uh, he's got it. Yes! It's Dadashov. It's Dadashov. He's scored a goal for Leighton Orient. Even though he's no one in the net, this is sensational behaviour. It's a good finish there by Dadashov, and possibly, maybe, the record for the longest Leighton Orient goal by distance through the series. That's it, mate. Omar Dadashov in the 37th minute. Not a moment too soon either because he is already knackered. I have a feeling that that record is going to be very short-lived. Away by Jean-Paul Sabali. And here is Romeo Nantanino going from long, long, a long way out. Try and beat that one then. Dadashov's out there to congratulate him, but... He must be absolutely livid. 
He can't get that record. I mean, what a goal. It's in the top corner. That's the most amazing thing about it. Goal, goal, goal. Nantanina, Nantanina. Is there anyone wanting to try and improve on that? Maybe. It's Sabali's turn. Sabali will get a chance here to bit at an angle. It is going, though. It'll need legs. Yomba might be there to follow up. Oh, Yomba's gonna squeeze it in! What the flaming hell is going on? Who oh, villains? 3 0! Oh, there's an outfielder taking this side. Right. So we are forced to concede corners from one side as Tang collecting the ball. Could be a free kick, but you know what? There you go. Have a corner kick, my friends. I don't think we'll get a chance with the goalkeeper, even if we had the opening. Sammy Peppel! <laughs> What? <laughs> Yomba's on the field, isn't he? Yeah, where is he off the corners? The guy's nickname is Cannon Leg. If anyone can do it and beat Nantanina's distance record, I think he's the furthest forward. That is a bit of a problem. The episode has taken an interesting turn, I'm not gonna lie. Ronnie Forrest was there. Oh, Henry Yomba can turn. Cannon Leg, oh my God! He has got a cannon for a leg. I don't know if it's longer, the Nantaniners, but it is more spectacular. We were right to call him Cannon Leg. Oh, yes. Henry Yumbo. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Ronnie. Oh, that's like a dink. What's all that about? Nantanina. Oh, he's going to do it again. Now, that is a proper king of the long shots. That is a proper king of the long shots. 5-1 late in Orion. I don't know why this episode turned into what it did, but I'm glad that it did so. It has been a bit magical. I know that it's not the furthest out that I've ever scored in Youth Squad Legends because I remember maybe like Paderborn, like FIFA 14, I scored from just outside my own box in a similar situation. Oh, the goalkeeper was up for a corner. Maybe not taking it, but up for it anyway. Pretty speechless, lads. I'm not going to lie. And I've got a massive, massive headache. So... God, I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. This is being cutsy. If you did so, please give the video a like. We've seen Dadashov score a goal. Please help out Youth Squad Legends wherever you can, telling your friends and family about it, or just watching the series over again. Maybe just watching this episode over again and reliving that magical moment. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me on Patreon. You guys are absolute legends supporting me financially. And if you watching this video want to get yourselves onto that credits list and help me out, then the link's down in the description. Thank you ever so much. I will see you next time. Bye bye. Absolutely unbelievable.